Hey everyone, it's Adam here in the AeroWorks Workshop and today is episode number 10 of the CH750 Super Duty Build Series. Today it's all about engines and we're going to be talking about three of the most popular ones on the market today. Let's get started. Well, the heart of every aircraft is the engine. It also makes up about one-third the cost of your overall project. Some of the things you might want to consider when selecting an engine are the price, the reliability, and the horsepower range. Today we're going to be talking about three popular models for the CH750 Super Duty. Our first engine is the Continental Titan X370 Experimental Series engine. Now this is a four cylinder 187 to 195 horsepower engine depending on how it's set up rated at 2700 RPMs. It has a 2000 hour TBO. It can be carbureted or fuel injected and it has a 277 to 296 pound dry weight. It can be outfitted with a constant speed or fixed pitch propeller, and it comes in at about $31,982 with crating and shipping. Our second engine is the Viking 195 Turbo. This is a Honda-based 1.5 liter direct injected four-cylinder turbocharged engine, putting out up to 195 horsepower at 5,400 RPMs. It weighs 260 pounds and comes equipped with a duck five bladed adjustable propeller. The price for the complete installation, including cowling, all needed accessories, engine mount and engine, comes in at $33,531. Now one thing that Viking also offers that neither of the other two engine options offer is something called their Viking VIP, which is a new service where Viking will actually come to your location and install the engine on site over two or three days uh, as long as you have an appropriate uh, facility to do that. So you can check them out. You can ask about their VIP service that they offer. All right, our third engine on the list is the Epex 200 Ti. This is made by Edge Performance out of Norway, and they are supported in the U.S. by Stoll Creek Aviation out of Kansas. Now, the Epex 200 Ti is a 200 horsepower Yamaha Apex based engine. It features sequential fuel and ignition and comes in at only 185 pounds. So, if you compare that weight uh, to power to weight ratio, that's a 200 horsepower engine that weighs as much or less than a Rotax 915 IS. So, that's pretty incredible. Uh, if you've ever seen this uh, airplane engine in an airplane itself, you might have if you've ever watched a uh, Steve Henry Highlander Stoll competition video. Uh, this, this engine uh, features a Skytrax gearbox and currently it is sold the 200 horsepower model for $31,500 or the 300 horsepower version is $36,000. Uh, now you will have to source your own mount depending on your aircraft and you know cowling and things like that so take all these prices with a grain of salt with the exception of the viking engine um, both the other two models do require some type of firewall ford package in addition to the price so keep that in mind when you're comparing prices well guys i hope that gave you some insight on some of the engine options that you can have for your ch750 super duty like I said in the beginning, this is by no means all the options, and I encourage you to do your own investigation and see what's out there. If you're already building a CH750 Super Duty and you have a different engine than I didn't mention, leave a comment down below. Tell us what you're building, what uh, engine options you have. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. As with that, we'd love to have you subscribe and follow the channel, and I appreciate uh, any comments you give. I'll try and answer every question I get. So until next week's episode, guys... It's Adam with AeroWorks, and thanks for watching.